All right, so this Knife Thoughts video is going to be on these knives, the Great Eastern Cutlery number 35 pattern. And I recently did a video on the Barlow patterns from Great Eastern Cutlery and just, you know, thought it'd be fun to do a video on all of my different variations of the number 35 frame. Now, this is not a history of the number 35 frame from GEC or of this pattern, a cigar equal and cigar pattern. Just kind of a fun video showing these off. I might talk a little bit about the history of the pattern from GEC and things like that, but I basically just wanted to make a quick fun video here um, about these different knives. So there's been a bunch of different variations of the 35 frame. The first I actually don't have, it was a Blade Forums knife called the Drover, um, but I think at the same time or just after they made this, which is the Churchill. So the Churchill is a pen knife, a multi-blade. So it has a blade on one end, the main blade, and then a secondary on the other, the main being a pretty classic clip point, and then the other being a nice little sheet foot. Um, and uh, interestingly, it seems that the 35 frame was actually first made to be a scout knife and then that was kind of scrapped and they did the blade forms knife and then this churchill but this version that i have is in banana bone you can see it has a banana shield and i really like that i just think it's really fun and uh you know makes it a unique knife the other thing that i really like about this churchill is just how thin these blades are uh, they just cut super well i mean gecs generally cut really well but I feel that the Churchill is one of the best cutters, one of the best ground GEC knives that I've had or, or have, especially this sheet foot. This thing is so thin, you can you know get a little bit of flex in it. It's just you know a super good cutter for opening packages, cutting cardboard and things like that. And then the clip point, classic clip point. So I've carried and used this one a good bit. It um, is you know great action and all of that. Uh, for a while, I actually thought this was the best action of a GEC, uh, but then it's been superseded. So um, I plan to make a video on uh, my top five GEC actions. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> they also made, and I had a Marin Grosh number 35 that was the Trapper, even though I would never call it a Trapper, but Marin Grosh did call it a Trapper even in the vintage. I don't have that one anymore. I just wasn't a huge fan of the uh, spear and or, I'm sorry, pen in, in front of the spear configuration. But then they did this beer and sausage. So this is uh, the either loved or hated or however you want to think of it, confusing beer and sausage. And this came out in, I believe, right in 2020. Yeah. So this was like, you know, right in the COVID, um, you know, situation. I think GEC had relatively recently been able to reopen. And uh, so it's an it's an interesting knife for sure. You've got a spear point main blade, really classic spear point. You can see the BNS. Um, you know, people co uh, conjectured about what that BS meant, uh, if it had any secret meanings. But then you also have this BRR tool, which is beard refuse removal tool. So it's like a beard comb. Um, to get the pieces of sausage out of your beard, uh, I suppose. Uh, these are a really interesting tool. That, that What I understand is that they were made because you could make a lot of them out of not too much steel because these teeth, they actually, you know, however you want to say that, like um, interlaced. And so you could get two of these BRR tools out of, you know, this much steel. So it allowed for using less steel then it also has a bottle opener and fork. So as far as I know, uh, as far as I can think of, this is the only fork that Gradation Cutlery has made. So interesting. I haven't used this one, to be completely honest. Um, it's more of a, a novelty or curiosity to me. But I do love the bone on this. And interestingly... Um, this, the beer and sausage came out in autumn and it has autumn jig bone. And then, uh, there's a urban Jack, which has green jig bone. So I have those two and think it's cool because the urban Jack came out in spring. I don't know if that was intentional, but just something I noticed. 
Uh, so very weird, very cool. I do enjoy that one. A lot of people uh, maybe don't. And then these two are both from the more recent run of the number 35. And uh, let's see, I believe it was in 2022. Yeah, 2022. So this is a cattle knife and it has stronger pulls than, than those previous two. You can see that really cool, classic, kind of simple uh, etch there. And I think this is one of the best GECs I have, to be honest. Uh, the tip sits nice and low on all of the blades. All of the blades are accessible. It's a classic uh, cattle knife configuration with a spear point main and then a sheet foot and spay secondary. They all have, you know, beautiful action. They're fitted into the blade well really well, as you can see. There's no gaps at all. Um, this bone, I, honestly, I'm forgetting what this bone is called, but I actually really like it. I don't typically like this kind of straight line jigging, but I like it. I believe this is called a propeller shield, and I think it looks great also. So just, you know, a big fan of this one. Um, I'm not a huge, huge fan of the Titty Ute uh, stamp on the shields, but I don't really mind it here. Um, so I, I really like this knife. I think this is, like I said, one of the better GECs that I have had. Uh, so really great classic, you know, cattle knife frame, which is uh, historically a very common type of knife to be made on an equal end cigar pattern like the number 35 is. And then this is the Wayneworth Cutlery Wiki Ute Camp Knife. And looks like I got a little scratch on there. I don't know how that happened. But um, this one is the Charlie Campania SFO variation of the Johnny on the Spot Scout Knife. So it's a, it's interesting. It's not the scout knife that, that I was expecting, um, maybe not even hoping for on the 35 frame, because instead of the combination can opener, bottle opener, which the um, Texas camp knife had, which I really love. And then in all, it has a bottle opener, hex bit tool and screwdriver which is like for adjusting a bike, Johnny on the spot in the, in the, on the tube, it's like adjusting a bike spoke or something, um, has that uh, screwdriver, hex bit, and bottle opener, and then a dedicated can opener. Um, so I talked to Charlie about this, and actually I wanted to mention, Charlie sent this knife to me, um, you know, just sent it to me. So uh, really, really special one in my collection. I really love it, um, really happy to have it, and, uh, it's it's a really special one for me but uh charlie said the same he would have loved to have seen it all charlie actually started out getting harness jacks made which are um you know a knife that has a, a main blade and then an all and so i think he would have appreciated an all just like i would i've actually used the all on my texas camp knife which is also the charlie companion sfo quite a bit so um really awesome knife uh really classic jigging nice plain bar shield beautiful fitment just like the cattle knife which was made at the same time and uh just a really interesting knife um i uh i suppose you could find a use for this hex bit turner i haven't used it yet um i have carried this knife some since uh, it was given to me by charlie i want to enjoy it put it in my pocket and carry it and use it and enjoy it but um, just a really classic and one that I'm really, really happy to have, really special to me, like I said. Uh, so uh, yeah, these are the 35 frame knives that I have from GEC. There are others, like I said, there's the Marin Grosh, there is the Blade Forms Drover. Uh, there might even be others. They might have made like a, a pen bladed, multi-bladed version at some point. I, I don't remember exactly. Like I said, this isn't a thorough history of the pattern. Just showing off those that I have from the pattern. I thought it'd be a fun little video to do, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear any comments you have, which is your favorite of the 35 that GEC has done. So make sure you leave a comment below. Um, also, subscribe to the channel if you like this type of video. have lots of GEC videos. Took a little hiatus for a little bit there from GEC videos, but uh, kind of have a lot planned. So if you like GEC videos, make sure you subscribe. 
click the bell and select all so you know when I post new videos. Then also check out my other social media. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at Knife Thoughts and my website knifethoughts.com where I post articles on knives like these and knife related topics. And last but not least, as always, don't forget to go out and do good.